Hey guys, welcome back to another Crimson Moon Battle Report. Guys, if you guys are watching this, we want to thank you for joining our Patreon. And this is our first exclusive Patreon video. And we will be playing Marvel Crisis Protocol. It's going to be a 17 point game. And we'll be having the following missions as we have already predetermined what we're going to be playing. We have the spider infected invade Manhattan. We're going to be placing five spider virus infection counters. We're going to score one victory point uh, for each uh, infected that one of our characters controls. And you have to interact with it in order to pick it up. And then during the power phase, we're going to roll a die. And if we get a crit, a uh, wild, or a hit, we're going to take. We're going to. We're not going to take a damage. We're actually going to. Your opponent is going to be able to move us. Uh, slow speed any direction they want and that's going to be our extraction and then for our a uh, for our other mission is going to be mutant madman turn city center into a lethal amusement park we're going to be placing four traps and in order to uh, score these we have to take control of the traps which is you just have to be within range of it. And then during the cleanup phase, we'll be scoring one, uh, one victory point. And you can interact with the trap. Now, this is in case you have other enemies around you. You're going to be rolling dice equal to that character's defense. And for if you roll, if the roll contains more crits, wild or hit results in the number of healthy opponents that are within that range then they take control of the trap and then during the cleanup phase each player controlling a trap chooses an enemy character within range two of each trap they control the chosen character suffers one damage and gains one energy we have the avengers and of course leading the team will be captain america so will we have the affiliation uh, a day unlike any other and then we have iron man we have the hulk and we also have Daredevil. So that's going to be the Avengers. And for their team cards, we are going to have Brace for Impact, Acute Census, Smash, Ricochet Blast, and Med Pack. And we have the Cabal. This time around, we're going to have Ultron. Going to return the favor to the Avengers. And then we have Baron Zemo. We have... The whole team led by Red Skull, so they will have the Masters of, of Evil affiliation, which is the Cabal's ability. Then we have Winter Soldier and Bullseye. All right, before we roll, this is the Cabal's cards. We have Cosmic Invigoration, we have Dark Rain, the Age of Ultron, Patch Up, and Marked for Death. So starting with the Avengers, let's see what they get for the roll. They only get... Two. So two for them, and now it's the Cabal. They get three, they get four. So they're gonna set up first, and they're gonna choose to go first. We are deployed. We have Bullseye, Zemo, right across from them. We have Iron Man, Captain America, Daredevil, and the Hulk. And right across from them, we have Red Skull. Right behind the canister there, we have uh, Winter Soldier. And then right beside him is Ultron. So power up phase, everyone is going to power up one. And the only one that's going to active to, to power up extra will be the Incredible Hulk. Starting off with Ultron. Ultron is going to move up. I'm going to try and get into position to try and take control of this spider infected person. So he's going to move up, and he's going to spend his one power to pick him up. Whoa. Let me get him out of the way. He's going to pick him up like so. And then on top of that, oops, moved, the, moved Bullseye's power instead of uh, Ultron. Now, Ultron, I don't think he wants to get into too close of a range of Hulk. So he's just going to move this way. And be in front of this. Daredevil's gonna activate and he moves long, so he's just gonna jump right over this item here. Because he does have wall crawler, so he can just 
pretty much ignore that. He'll end up, he'll go that way, and then he's just going to end up right behind that, taking his two activations. He's going to end up right here. And he'll spend his power, and he's going to go ahead and pick up the spiderling, or I mean the, the spider infected, and now he has that. Zemo's going to activate, and he's just going to kind of get into position there. You know what? He'll go this way. He's going to go ahead and pick up the spiderling. The spider infected. I don't know why I keep calling him spiderling. So he'll move to there. He'll spend his power. And then he's going to move this way because he won't be able to do much of anything since he doesn't have a whole lot of energy. I'm going to spend three. Hulk's going to go ahead and do Gamma, gamma Leap. And Gamma Leap, he, he can be placed anywhere within range two. So he's just going to do a jump. Putting himself like so to there. He's not going to pick anything up because he has no energy. So then he's going to move. And he moves, I believe it's S. Let's see if he can't get into position to start wailing on Ultron. So he will go to there. Oh yeah, he's right there, right up in his grill. And he's gonna spend his last action and he's gonna punch. He's gonna go ahead and do his free strike. After the attack is resolved, this character gains damage equal to the damage, energy equal to the damage. Seven dice, and if he gets a wild, he's gonna be able to push the character away S. So seven dice. It's a physical attack. See if he can get some energy. So he's gonna have two wilds, so he's definitely gonna push them. He's got no rerolls and no explosions, but looks like five going into Ultron. Ultron has four dice of defense, and he's got a crit, so he's gonna block two for sure. Nope, he blocked two, so he has taken three damage. Hulk's just going to push Ultron, try and get him away from the objective. So he's going to throw him like so there. So that would keep him from scoring. Hulk is going to do strongest one there is. Choose an interactive terrain feature or an enemy character, both of size four or less, and within range two and throw it M. This superpower can be used only once and it costs two. Actually, it should only cost him one. I keep forgetting Cap has that ability that brings everything down by one. So he's throwing this building to Ultron. And uh, I forgot to, to, to let you guys know what all the sizes were. So the big buildings are threes. These are twos. Uh, this is a two. And then everything else that's like small little terrain will be just size one. So he's picking this up, and he's just going to chunk it at Ultron. So now Ultron's going to have to make a four-die defense, or he's going to take some damage. It is a physical attack. And he only blocks one, so he's taking three more damage. And just like that, Ultron is dazed. So all right, the affected got thrown here. Ultron is dazed. Hulk is too, isn't close enough to do any of that shenanigans there. Go ahead and activate Winter Soldier. And he's going to try and do a little bit of damage here on Hulk. Uh, actually, yeah, that's a medium. So he's just going to go... Actually, he's going to go right behind these crates to get a little bit of cover. And then he's going to start unloading on Hulk with his second action. He's just going to go ahead and do his assault rifle. After this attack is resolved, this character gains damage equal to the uh, energy equal to the damage dealt. On wild, he does bleed. And then if he gets a, I guess if he gets the damage after the attack is resolved, this character may make one additional assault rifle attack. The additional attack must target the original target. The additional attack does not have the rapid fire. Oh, okay, so as long as he, he does damage, I'm um, Hulk is gonna he's gonna take it he's gonna do an additional shot so winter soldiers four die attack he is gonna do ooh, he's gonna have a crit so no he's gonna have three three going in and hulk defends with hulk defense with four and does he have uh, no, he doesn't. Add one die to the... Okay, that's when he can start getting damage. 
he starts getting meaner. All right. So Hulk responds with his own crit, but he blocks two. He's going to take one point of damage, and he's bleeding because of the uh, wild. And since Winter Soldier did damage, he gets to just shoot, do his rapid fire ability. And he's got two more hits. Two more hits going into the Hulk. Hulk's four defenses. Can he block? Uh, he blocks nothing. Two more damage going into the Hulk. So Winter Soldier is done. Cap's going to go ahead and activate. And Cap is going to go ahead and move up to try and get this spider infected. So he's going to move his medium. So he will go to there. He will spend his one power. Oops, a little too far. He will spend his one power to pick that up. And then he's going to move one more time. And he's just going to try and get into close range. Actually, you know, you know what? He's going to go ahead and move out. So we'll move this like so to here. I can get it without messing anything up. Of course, that thing's going to be moving all over the place, but that's all right. So we're moving to there. We'll put him here because I'm pretty sure I could bend it a little bit more. Red Skull's going to activate, and he's going to go ahead and unleash his cube. And it doesn't cost him anything, but he's going to roll five dice. And if he gets any skulls, he's going to take that much damage. But he's going to gain three energy. He's going to take one damage. And that cost him one of his actions. So now he's just going to have to move up. And he is going to move up like so. There's a big monster threat facing the Red Skull and the Cabal right now. So they got to try and neutralize it, neutralize it as quickly as they can. Oops, and I forgot. Uh, Winter Soldier, when he did damage, he should have gained at least a, another power because he is affiliated with Cabal. So the last guy to activate is just Iron Man, and Iron Man is just going to move to try and take control of this bomb here. So he's just going to move up. He'll move up to here, then he'll move one more time, but he's just going to be behind Cap right here. And he should be just fine. Yeah, he's good. So he's just going to finish his spot there. And I don't think you need to interact in order to control. I think it's only if there's other people, if there's under other enemies. I think you control it as soon as, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and do it. I'll spend the power. I'll roll the dice. And as long as I get a hit crit, that means it goes into my control. So it's going to be four dice. Or actually, no, it's equal to their physical. So it's a physical four. And there you go. He got it. So this is going to be under the control of the Avengers, and I'll go ahead and put one of their little logos on there to show it. And there we go. I'll put the logo there. Just let me know in the comments if I did that wrong, if they take control of it automatically, if they get within the inch. But I just went ahead and played it with the with the die roll. I think it's only, you roll the dice only if somebody else is already there controlling it, and you try and take control of it. But if I did it right, cool. If I did it wrong, just comment below. So the only guy left is Bullseye, and Bullseye is just going to move up, and he's got a speed of medium. So he's got to try and run off. And let's see, we can't get to control this one here, so let's turn a little bit. He'll go to there. That should put him within range. I should put him within range of that, and he'll do the same thing. He's going to go ahead and spend one of his powers. Well, the only power he has. And he's going to try and control it because there's nobody else there. So he's got a defense. Oh, man, what's his defense? Let me take a look. Defense on him is a three. So physical defense. He got the hit. So now he's controlling this bomb. But he's going to go ahead and take a shot at Cap. He's got a shot also at Daredevil, but we'll go against Cap. Why not? So he's going to go ahead and do his throwing knives. His range 4, which was was within range. After this attack was resolved, the character gains an energy. Defending character does not benefit from cover. And if I get the uh, wild, he's going to be bleeding. So 4 die attack going into Cap. Cap. 
Uh, well, you only got the one hit, which is the, the bleeding effect. Cap's going to have four defense, and he gets no cover. He blocked it. He's good. So that is the end of the first turn. So far, one dazed character already. The Hulk just beating the heck out of Ultron. And, man, that was dirty. But uh, at the end of the round, we'll go ahead and count up some points. On the uh, Cabal side, they don't control... Well, they only control that. They didn't control this one. So that means they're going to get a point for that. And then Spider Infected, they have one. So they're going to go to two points. We'll put that here, mark it down. And then on the other side, which is the Avengers... We'll have one for Tony, who's who's uh, currently controlling that. And over here, we have nothing. So it's going to be one point for the uh, bomb. And then as far as infected, we got one, two. So they're going to score three points. So at the end of the turn, Avengers three, Cabal two. And let's get ready for turn two with the Cabal taking the first turn. My bad, the Avengers taking the first turn. And everyone has powered up, and now we're going to go ahead and resolve the spider infected. Which, if any of these characters roll either a hit, a crit, or a wild, their opponent is going to be able to move them. So we have Captain America that does have an infected. So he does roll a crit, so that means that the uh, Cabal can move him short. So we'll just move him like so. Get them a little closer so that way they can start beating him up. All right. Guess we should take these all off. And then we also have uh, two, 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 Daredevil that has one. So let's go ahead and roll Daredevil. Uh, no, he's fine. He does not move. And that's all the ones on the Avenger side, because it begins with the guys that have initiative. And now on the Cabal side, I think it is just Zemo that has one. So let's see if he moves. And no, he does not. It's a shield. And now on to turn two. So the Avengers are going to go ahead and activate first. And we're going to activate Hulk. He's going to spend three. And he's just going to go ahead and do his Gamma Leap. Because Hulk is gonna Hulk. And let's see here. He's just gonna move this way like so. To get into position here. And what he'll do is he's gonna go ahead and spin one energy. To go ahead and pick up the spider infected. So he now has that. And then he's going to spend one energy to go ahead and interact with the bomb. So nobody is within one inch other than him. So he just needs one success. And his defense is a four. So he's going to roll four dice. And he gets it with one. So now that is going to be under control of the Avengers. So now Hulk is going to go ahead and strike Ultron with his one of his activations. And he's got 3, 4 power. Uh, he's just going to go ahead and go for the strike. Now he does have extra damage. So that means he's got inner rage during the power phase. Nope, that's not it. You won't like me when I'm angry. Add one die to this character's attack roll for every 4 damage. Oh, okay. So he only has three, so he's not going to benefit from that just yet. So, and he doesn't have... Actually, he does have enough for Hulk Smash. Now we're going to go with the strike. Just gonna, We're going to continue doing the strike. So it's going to be three. It's going to be a seven-die attack. And see if we can build some more energy on him. Here we go. So he got no crits, but he's going to be able to toss Ultron around because he did get a wild. And Ultron, I believe, has a four die defense. And yes, he does. Does he have anything special that can 
help him out? I don't think so. And that's when he attacks. Oh, well, he's a uh, Hulk not doing any bleeding. So he's immune to bleeding. He's immune to, immune to poison. None of that's going on right now. And he's going to, oh, he's got a crit. So he's going to at least block two. So he's going to take at least one damage. And then Hulk's going to just toss him aside. So Hulk's just going to push him back. Like so. And since Hulk does have the bleed condition. Uh, does he want to keep it? He'll take a damage at the end of this turn if he doesn't shake it off. Mm, no, nah, you know what? I'm going to let him keep that poison. We're going to go ahead and do another attack on Ultron. He's going to spend four energy. Ooh, actually, I don't think he's within range, too. Since he tossed him, but he can hit Winter Soldier. Hmm. Or he can do the Thunderclap, which is a beam, but that's only going to hit. That's only going to hit one guy. If he had moved a little bit like so, he could have hit both of them. Or he could actually beam this way. And actually, I don't... Well, that might... If he were to beam like that... No, I, think, I don't think it's going to clip him. It'll only be the one hit. But you know what? We'll go ahead and do Hulk Smash on Winter Soldier. He's within range too. So he's going to spend his four. And we're just going to do all kinds of damage here. So spending four to go ahead and do that. And it's going to be an eight die attack. And it's going to be physical. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hulk is getting dirty right early in the game. And let's see, he's got a couple of crits here. So we'll... We'll move these out of the way. So he's going to have three crits going in. Three more dies going in. He's got a swirly. We'll see what special abilities he has here. But he's got six going into Winter Soldier. So he defends with three on physical. But he does have these, these Spetsnads training. So he's going to be able to reroll one die. Uh, oh, nice. He's got two crits. So let's roll two dice. Uh, that didn't help him. And then he has the reroll of the Spetsnaz training. And that didn't help him either. So he blocks two. He's taken four damage. So after the damage, he took, uh, he took his four damage. Plus he staggered because he got a wild. And when he does damage, he can throw him as well. So he threw him uh, short. So he just threw him off this area here. And that's going to be the end of Hulk's turn. And at the end of his turn, he's going to take his damage from Bleed. Cabal's going to activate Ultron, and he's going to want some vengeance. So he's going to spend three, and he's going to do his, his uh, kinetic... Actually, no. He's going to spend three, and he's going to do his Metallic Fury. It's a range three attack. And he's going to be rolling seven dice. So we're going to spend that. And that's definitely range three. So he's going to choose, before he makes the attack, he can choose what type of... Uh, what type of attack he's gonna choose energy and if he gets wild he's gonna cause a bleed but it doesn't matter because Hulk's already bleeding so it's gonna be seven dice going against Hulk and it's gonna be an energy attack and oh that is a nice roll okay so we can't reroll that but he's got three explosions okay so now these are gonna go away this as well so he is, has three four five five total going to hulk hulk has a defense of three on his uh energy defenses and he only blocks one so he's taking a whopping four damage so ultron's gonna strike one more time he's gonna go ahead and do his energy blast it's a, a builder so it's within range four it's gonna be a five die attack when this attack as resolved, his character gains energy equal to the damage dealt, and he's going to incinerate the the uh, the Hulk if he rolls a wild. So it's going to be a five die attack. Uh, 
uh, he got no wild, but he's got two hits. Hulk's gonna defend three again. It's an energy attack. He's gonna block one, so Hulk's gonna take one more damage. But Ultron is not done yet. He's gonna go ahead and spend three for kinetic field generator. Choose an interactive terrain feature, size four or less, and throw it, and within range three, and throw it medium. So he's gonna choose this item here, and he's gonna chunk it at Hulk. So now he's gonna roll a uh, four die defense to try and block the incoming damage. So it's a size two, so it goes to a three damage. So he's gonna have four die defense. And he's blocking two so far, one more. Uh, he blocked it. So Hulk just laughs, laughs and Hulk. Her man's gonna go ahead and activate and he's gonna go ahead and do the ricochet blast. So we're gonna cast this. It's gonna cost them both one each. And that does count as an action for Iron Man. So both of these guys are gonna spend energy each. So he's gonna be able to shoot from Cap and he's gonna aim at the Red Skull, which he is just right there perfectly in his spot. And it looks like he should be, looks like he should be in the open. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's in the open. I believe it's a seven die attack. It is range four, yeah, seven die attack. So seven dice energy. Two, four, six, seven, here we go. Ooh, that is a nice row. So it's a crit, another damage. So all that is going through. So we got three, six damage total going into Red Skull. Red Skull has an energy defense of three. Now he can do uh, Hell Hydra, which if, if somebody's within range two of him, he can technically put him kind of in harm's way. But I want to save Baron Zemo to try and go and steal those objectives over there. So we're not going to do that. Red Skull's going to go ahead and take it. And he's going to have a reroll from Zemo's uh, ability. So we're going to have three energy dice. Oh, that's not good. I think, uh, yeah, that one got tapped. So he blocked none. So that means, uh, ugh. Two, four, that's six damage. I think Red Skull's gonna go for a little cat nap. And he's got a health of six. So yeah, Red Skull is dazed. So with Iron Man's last activation, he's just gonna kind of bump up like so and just kind of be ready for the next uh, next round. But we're gonna make sure that he wants to stay within of these two there. So Bullseye is going to go ahead and activate, and he's going to go ahead and try and build up his damage here because uh, he only has one energy. So we're going to go with the throwing knives, and the cap's already bleeding. After this attack is resolved, the character gains one energy. Defending characters in game cover. So it's going to be range four, four die attack. So two, four. And he's got a good roll. He gets no rerolls, but he's going to add an additional die because of the crit. So he's going to have four hits going on Cap. Cap's got a four defense on his physical. Jeez, look at all the skulls. Uh, Cap blocks nothing. So he is taking four damage. Bullseye's just going to go ahead and do throwing knives one more time. And it was since Cap's down to one health, let's see if he gets lucky enough to daze him. Four die attack. And he's got another crit. Nope. So it's going to be three going into Cap. And Cap is going to go ahead and spend two. Because he wants to make sure he does not get dazed. So he's going to be down to one there. Actually, he's going to cost him one because of his power. So he's going to have three. And he's going to go ahead and add the Vibranium Shield. So he's going to add uh, two more dice. So it's going to be six dice total to try and block this. So three hits, he's gotta, he's gotta block all three, or else he's gonna be dazed. And he got it, he's got four. Bullseye has I Never Miss. So that's gonna be an uh, interrupt, not really interrupt, but a reaction. He's gonna spend one power and he's gonna do an auto damage to Cap and Cap is stunned. 
So Cap goes down, drops the spider infected. So now Bullseye, before his activation ends, is going to spend an action uh, power to interact, and he's going to pick that up. And now the Cabal have another spider infected. Daredevil's going to activate, and he's going to go ahead and try and get into position over here with his long range. Don't know if he's going to be able to reach in there, but let me take a look. He's going to try and get into here. Because what he wants to do is try get as close to an inch to try and maybe take control of that objective, but... After his movement, he's going to go ahead and strike at Bullseye. And he's just going to go ahead and use his strike ability, which is five dice, range two. After this attack is resolved, this character gains one damage equal to the, one energy <laughs> equal to the damage. And if he rolls a uh, wild, it's a stun. So three, four, five. And he's got two hits so far so no rerolls or anything but bullseye defense with three and he's gonna just block one so he's gonna take a damage so before his activation ends daredevil's gonna spend one point one energy and he's gonna try and take control of that objective he's got a defense of three so he needs at least two successes in order to take over and he misses so now Zemo is just going to move. He needs to try and take control of this to get some points going. So he's going to try and move up. Run this way, right beside Hulk. And then he's going to take one more activation. He's just going to move up. Kind of get between both these items here. And he should have plenty of energy. Well, actually, he only has one. So he's going to spend one to at least try and take control of that objective. So he's just going to roll his his uh, uh, physical. So it's three dice. And he just needs one, one hit, crit, or... Uh, yeah, he got it. Aven Avengers are all uh, activated out since Cap's knocked out. So... Winter Soldier has to, first he has to spend an action to take off the stagger. So he's going to do that. And then, so what Winter Soldier is going to go ahead and do first is he's going to go ahead and do Dark Rain. Any Cabal character may spend three energy. And when they play, when they spend three energy, choose an enemy character Allied Cabal characters may reroll any number of attack dice when attacking the chosen character this round. Oh, maybe I should save that because that's just going to be a Winter Soldier rerolling. Yeah, we'll save that. We don't want to do that because that's going to be throughout the whole turn. So he's just going to go ahead and do his his uh, uh, Red Fury. It's going to cost him four, two, three. Four, and he's gonna it's gonna be a seven die attack after this attack is resolved the target character is pushed away from the character s then immediately make an assault rifle attack targeting the character oh, that's nice so oh crap it's a range two that might not be in range let me make sure first before i do it but i think that's a little too far uh yep sorry winter soldier you're not gonna be able to do that so I guess what he'll do, he'll just go ahead and do an assault range. Or, you know, you know what? He's going to move. Let's move him, his medium. He's not going to be able to get within range of... He's not going to be able to get range of the objective. Actually, you know what? If he gets too close, he's going to end up getting blown up by the uh, ability that they have so he's just going to back up like so and he just he's just going to be ready for the next turn so let's do the cleanup phase so here we go so starting with cabal cabal are going to control one two for objectives those are the secure so that's two points and then they have 
one, two, they have two of the infected. So they're gonna score four. So that's gonna put them at six. And then the Avengers have one, two, and I believe they only have three. So they have one in, one, infe one spider infected. So they're gonna have three, so they're gonna go to six as well. So it's gonna be a tie game. And now we uh, do the abilities from the bombs. Nobody within range two other than Hulk. So he, no, everyone's fine there, nothing there. Here, however, since Cabal control this, they're gonna choose Daredevil and they're gonna roll dice. I believe it's equal to the, his defense. And if they roll a crit, hit, or a wild, they're gonna take one damage and gain an energy. Actually, my bad, they don't even roll. They just take a damage and they gain an energy. So Daredevil's gonna take a damage and he's gonna gain an energy. Oops, did, I completely forgot. Hulk did have one, spy, one uh, spider infected. So that actually the Avengers are ahead by one point. So everyone has powered up. Now let's see if anybody's gonna be moving because of the spider infected. So starting with Hulk, and he's gonna move. The Cabal is just gonna push Hulk like so, kind of back him away from the area. He's gonna go to there. So Daredevil has a spider infected and he's okay. So that's all the Avenger side. So now let's go ahead and get to this side, which is Bullseye and then Baron Zemo. So Bullseye, uh, he's gonna move, and then Baron Zemo, uh, him as well. So both are gonna be moving. And after the die rolls, Zemo ended up right next to Hulk. So that way uh, Hulk can wail on him. And uh, Bullseye, they pushed him away from that objective to see if they can't take that under control. Daredevil's gonna go ahead and just do his baton hook, which is range four. He's gonna strike Bullseye. It's gonna be a four die attack. And he's got two hits. Bullseye defends with three. And he's gonna block it. It's gonna get a crit and a shield and he gets another crit. So he is good. Actually, there was a Swirly in there. So the Swirly is gonna force him to push the character of size two, at least uh, short. So he just ended up getting pushed right back over here. And uh, Daredevil is going to go ahead and attempt to take control of that objective. So he's going to spin one. And since nobody is there, he just needs at least one hit. And he gets it with the Swirly. So now the Avengers take control. So since Daredevil still has one more action left, he's going to go ahead and throw another baton and try and strike Red Skull. So it's going to be a four die attack. And he got a crit, it looks like three so far. Nothing there, so it's three hits. And he's gonna be able to push away uh, Red Skull, and I believe Red Skull defends with three. And he gets nothing <laughs> once again. So it's gonna be three damage going into Skull. So Red Skull actually has four die defense, so he's got one more. And he's gonna get a crit. And he blocks two, so it's only taking one damage. So now it's the Cabal's turn, and now they're going to go ahead and play Dark Rain. Any Cabal character may spend three energy to play this card. Choose an enemy char character. Allied Cabal characters may reroll any number of attack dice when attacking the chosen character this round. So we're going to choose Hulk, and we're going to go with Bucky first, and he's going to spend his three energy. So he's going to use his assault rifle. It's going to be a range five. So it's, he's going to have a four die attack. Hulk's already bleeding, but if he does at least a damage, um, uh, he's going to be able to shoot it again. So here we go. Four dice. Let's see if we can take down the Hulk. And he can't reroll skulls, but he can reroll these because of dark rain. So he's going to have... Two hits going in. Hulk's going to defend with four for physical. And Hulk is going to take one damage. So since he did a damage, he's going to be able to strike again. And nice roll. He's got a crit. He's got four hits going in. So now let's see if Hulk can defend. 
with his four dice. Uh, he's going to get a crit. He's going to block one. And that's it. He's taking three more damage. So we'll go ahead and move Winter Soldier up. Because we're going to try and take control of this objective. So he's just going to move up like so. And he's going to try and spend an energy. There's nobody within that range. So all he needs is to get one success. And he's got it. Captain America is going to go ahead and activate. And he's going to go ahead and do a move. To try and give Hulk some help here. So he's going to move to here like so. Cap is going to go ahead and do his shield slams. It's going to cost him one because of the ability. So if the target character is a size three or less, after the attack is resolved, it will be thrown S. So range two, he's going to go ahead and strike at um, Red Skull. Uh, not a bad, not a bad roll. So he's going to have those hits there. He's going to have two explosions. And he's going to have another one there. So it looks like it's going to be five going in. And Red Skull defense with four. Nobody within his range, so he can throw in as a meat bag, so he's going to have to take it. He, he only blocks one. He's taking four more damage. Or, I'm sorry, three damage. No, four. Yeah, because it's five. I can count. Ultron's going to activate, and he's going to go ahead and do his uh, energy blast, which is range four. He's going to strike the Hulk, and it's going to be a five uh, five die attack. After uh, you're going to gain energy equal to the damage dealt, and if he rolls a wild, it's going to incinerate him. So it's going to be a five die attack. Uh, that was a terrible roll. He only has one exploding. Nothing. Only one. Hulk only has uh, three on shields. On energy defenses. He's not going to block any. So he's going to take a damage. I almost forgot. The uh, Dark Rain ability. Which allows him to reroll any dice. That he chooses. Because that's going to be on Hulk throughout the end of his turn. So he gets to reroll all these. Still not anything better, so it's just going to be one additional damage going into Hulk. So now, he is going to go ahead and move his medium. Try and get close to this item over here. He'll go to there. Should have been good like that. Oh, uh, he should have gained at least two energy. From the damage he did from that blast one for the damage he did actually two two damage because of what he did and then one additional because he's cabal and he's going to choose this item within range uh, range three that's a four or less and he's going to chunk it at hulk it's going to be a, a size two so it's going to be three damage and let's see if hulk can block it so hulk's got four die defense okay he's going to block one so he's going to take two more damage that means Hulk is only down to three wounds left. He is almost out of the game. So Hulk's going to go. Only two health left, but he's got plenty of power to do some damage. He's going to be striking at Nemo. So he's going to go ahead and spend four, but actually it's only going to cost him three because he's an Avenger. And he's going to do Hulk Smash. Range two, it's going to be eight damage attack. If he gets a uh, wild, it's a stagger. And if he does a damage... Then, uh, actually, if he gets, if it's something but wild, he gets a stagger and a throw. Nice, okay. So, eight damage, or eight dice. Four, eight, and let's see if Zemo can block some of this. Whoops, drop die. So, uh, no crits. I can't believe no crits. But he's got four hits. And I believe Nemo blocks with three. So Hulk has four additional dies that should have gone into Zemo for his attack because uh, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. So he's got three more 
and he's gonna have four more damage going into ne uh, Zemo. Nemo blocking with three, and he gets the reroll. He's blocking two. Nope, he's gonna block at least two. So now Hulk is gonna go ahead and do Thunderclap, which is a beam three for three power. So he's gonna just do it straight ahead. That's gonna hit both these guys here. And it's gonna be a five die attack. It's gonna cost him three. So we're spending that. And we're gonna roll them each at one at a time. So five die attack. Three, four, five. We're gonna go up against Ultron first. This is a, this is a energy attack, actually. Energy attack. Not a bad roll. He's got four so far. Ultron defends with three. Uh, he gets at least a crit. Yeah, look at all those skulls. Jeez. So he's going to block one. He's going to take three damage from that. And now the red skull. Five die attack. It's going to be three going into the skull. But Skull is going to be a little sneaky and pull something out of his sleeve. So it says if he's a target, I'm guessing he is. I guess he can reuse that. Let me know in the comments below if he could do this. I'm going to go ahead and do it because technically he is the target of the attack since it's going to hit both him and Ultron. He may use a superpower, choose another allied character within range 2 to become the new target of the attack regardless of range or line of sight. So he's just going to choose Ultron. And he's going to spend his two power, and it's just going to hit Ultron again. So Ultron's going to defend with three. He's got a crit. So he's going to take two more damage, and I believe that's actually going to knock him out. So that indeed is going to knock him out, but he only has five health. But now we're going to activate this. As a reactive, if Ultron is KO'd after the effect is resolved, he may spend through eight energy to play this card before removing the miniature from the battlefield. Ultron is not removed from the battlefield. Instead, he removes all special conditions, flips his card to the healthy side, removes all damage, drops all objective tokens, and may be placed within range three of his current location. So yeah, Red Skull had something up his sleeve for sure. So Ultron ends up here. He was over here. And that's going to be the end of Hulk's turn. Red Skull's going to activate. And he's going to try and finish off Hulk here. Before he gets knocked out himself. He only he's down to one health left. Oh, uh, actually I can't move him. Because that's... Uh, uh, let me see. Let's do the Unleash the Cube. It's going to cost four. So we're going to do three, four there. And unleash the cube of the attack deals damage. After it is resolved, this character may throw the target S. And if I get a uh, wild, after this target is resolved, target character and character within range of one of the target gain the stun special ability. All right. So he's gonna be, it's gonna be a seven die attack in his energy. So don't forget that he can reroll because he is Cabal and they have that dark rain still on Hulk. So seven dice, here we go. Well, he definitely needed it. Get the crit first. Can't reroll the skulls, but we can reroll all these. Uh, that's not too bad. So it's going to be four going into Hulk. He only needs two, and you knock out the Hulk. And Hulk's energy defenses are threes. And he's only going to block one. So he's going to take three, and Hulk goes down so Skull's gonna go ahead and just move and he's just gonna move medium oh can I get the stick is on the other side over here he's just gonna move up like so go to here he's gonna spend an energy so that way he can take control of that spiderling or spider infected actually before he ends his turn he's gonna spend three energy and he's gonna do master of the cube choose this character or another allied character within range four of this character and place it within range two of its current position. The character may be placed by the superpower only once per turn. He's just gonna go ahead and choose Ultron and he can place him within range two. So he's just gonna kind of move him up, kind of make him be his bodyguard. 
and move them up to there. And now Red Skull is done. Iron Man's just gonna go ahead and move. And he's gonna try and see if maybe he can get a cheeky shot. He's gonna go to there. And what he'll do is he'll do some Repulsor Blast on Red Skull and see if he can not take him down. Repulsor Blast is gonna be a range four. So he is within range. Skull can't do Masters of Evil again because he only has one power and it costs two in order to throw a person in front of his way. So Tony's gonna have four, a four die attack. And that's not a really good roll. He's got a crit, he's got two hits. And Red Skull has to block all these or else he goes down. He goes down, he doesn't get anything. So the only guy left is Bullseye, and Bullseye is just going to go ahead and run. He's got a movement of medium. So he's going to go ahead and... I guess he'll go this way, and he'll see if he can't pick on Cap. He'll go there. And he's going to go ahead and do his ability, which is the uh, throwing knives. It's going to be a four die attack. See if we can do some more bleed on him. So four dice attack. It's physical. He's got two two damage. You'll be causing that bleed, even if it doesn't uh, even if he doesn't defend. And Cap only blocks one, so he's gonna take a damage and he's bleeding. So my bad. Captain America on his injured side does have I can do this all day. So any uh, blanks he rolls also counts as successes. So Cap did save. But he does have the bleeding condition, unfortunately. And it goes to the cleanup phase. So now we score. Avengers are going to score one, two. They only have two objectives so far. And Spiderlings, or I mean Spider Infected, uh, they only have one. So they're scoring three. So they're going up to ten. And then... For the Cabal, they're scoring one, two, and they have one, two, so they have four total. So they have two and two. So they're going to go to ten as well. So it is a tie game at the end of turn three. My bad, I forgot. Zemo got knocked out by Hulk, so he dropped his, his uh, infected. So actually it is Avengers leading the game by one point. It is 10 to nine. So starting the roll with the spider infected, Daredevil has a infected character. Let's see if he does a random movement and he is. So the only other person that has a spider infected is Bullseye and he is okay. He doesn't move. So after movements, Daredevil ends up here. The Cabal moved him away from that objective and everybody else is good to go. So starting with the Avengers, the Iron Man is going to go ahead and move up. Iron Man needs to get in this fight. So he is going to go ahead and move to here like so. And he's going to take a shot at Bullseye. And uh, he's going to have a five die shot. Energy is three for Bullseye. So, he is going to do Repulsor Blast, which is a four die attack. After the attack was resolved, he's going to gain energy for each damage. And then on a wild, he's going to push Bullseye back. So here we go. Uh, he's got a wild. So he's going to be able to push him. Bullseye's got three die defense. He's going to get a crit. And that's it. But he is going to take one damage, and Iron Man is going to gain an energy. So that's going to be Iron Man's turn. He had to move, but he is going to spend one power to go ahead and pick up this infected Spiderling. Zemo's going to activate, and he's just going to run back here, and he's going to try and get into position of both of these Spiderlings, like so. Let's see if he's within range there. 
and see if he can't maybe pick both of these suckers up. And it looks like he's gonna be just fine. So he's gonna spend two energy. And he's gonna pick up both these objectives. And then he's, uh, actually he's already controlling that. So he's gonna run this way to try and start taking control of this Avengers objective over here on this opposite side. Cap's gonna go and he's gonna go ahead and do a shield throw at Bullseye. Should be within range four, which is perfect range. So it's gonna be a five die attack. He's gonna gain an energy after this attack is resolved. And ignore sign of side, but that doesn't matter. Ricochet doesn't matter because there's nobody else unless you want to hit the knocked out Red Skull that's right behind there. All right, here we go. And all he got was two. No rerolls, no explosions. And Bullseye blocks with three. And he blocked one. He's going to take it one more damage. So Cap's going to go ahead and do shield throw one more time and throw it at Bullseye. So it's going to be a five die attack. He's going to go ahead and uh, not do the shake off on the bleed because if Bullseye is still awake, he might just do the bleed all over again on Cap or possibly even Iron Man. So I might as well just try and see if I can't daze him for this turn. So we are going to get four going in and then Bullseye is going to block with three. So he's got to get some explosions or he'll, he's going down and he gets no blocks. He is down for the count. So my bad, actually Bullseye, before he took that damage from Cap, he's going to spend two power and he's going to do Parting Shot, which is a reaction. After an attack targeting, this character is resolved. This character may use a superpower. The attacking character suffers one damage. The character may advance away from the attacking character S. So actually he could have probably gotten out of range of the attack and keep himself from getting dazed. So he would be moving S. So he could move this way. He would be able to go there. And actually that might have kept Cap from throwing his shield. And yes, it did. So that means uh, we'll, we'll do something else with Cap because he wouldn't be able to shoot bullseye after doing that parting shot but he does take a damage from the parting shot as well so since that happened rather than doing anything else cap's just going to go ahead and shake off the bleed just go ahead and take that off and that's going to be his second action he's done winter soldier is going to move and he's just going to move up and he is going to blast iron man so I don't think he's within range two, so he's just going to have to go ahead and do his... Oh my gosh. Get out of the way, loser. Oh well. Uh, he's going to do his assault rifle, which is uh, basic free, because Red Fury is too far. So he's going to be uh, rolling four die attack. And if he gets a wild, he's going to do bleed. And if he does a hit... Actually, I don't know if he does bleed. I'll double check again. Well, there's the wild. And he does get a crit. So it's going to be three dice for sure. And then Iron Man on physical, he blocks with four. So he's got a crit. So he's blocking three. And that's it. He's only blocking two. And he's going to take a point of damage. So, yep, on the wild, it does bleed. So Iron Man is not immune. So he's going to take the bleed action. And because he did a point of damage, uh, bullseye, I mean, uh, when your soldier's gonna shoot again, uh, only one this time, so four, <laughs> but he gets no blocks, so another damage going into Tony. So, when your soldier is gonna gain one power each from the damage that he did, plus an additional one because he's Cabal, so he's gonna max out at 10 power there, and he is done for the turn. Daredevil's gonna activate, and he's gonna go ahead and do his movement because. He needs to go and block off Baron Zemo before he gets to their other objective. So after his movement, he's going to end up like so right there. He's going to go ahead and do his baton hook, which is a range four. And it's going to be a four die power attack, or actually a physical attack. 
and he's got a crit. And that's it. He's got two hits going into Zemo. Zemo's got three dice for physical defense. And he's got a crit. But he can reroll one because of his ability. So that's actually three blocks. So he's going to block all the damage going in. So now Zemo's going to do counter strike for two power. And if he rolls any crits or hits, he's going to. Uh, Daredevil's going to take a point of damage from counter strike. Uh, he got a crit. And he got a hit. So I believe all those three do go through. So a correction for every crit and every wild. So it's going to be two points of damage going into Daredevil. Ultron will spend his two power. And he's going to go ahead and do patch up. And choose a non dazed ally. Another ally within range two of the chosen character may spend up to two. Uh, may have spent up to five. Oh, wow. They remove damage up to the equal to the amount of energy. So he's, he spent two. So two health is gonna go back on Winter Soldier. So he's gonna be down to just two damage. And now Ultron's gonna try and do his builder. So he's gonna go ahead and do a energy blast on Iron Man. So it's a range four and it's a five die attack. Uh, he'll gain incinerate if he gets a wild. So five die attack going into Iron Man. And he's got the wild and a crit. So it looks like it's going to be three going into Iron Man. Iron Man blocks with three for energy. And he's got his own crit. And that's about it. So he's going to take two damage, but because of his armor, he's only going to take one point of damage. But he is incinerated. So for a second action, he's going to go ahead and try and take out Daredevil. Since Daredevil is almost dazed, so he's going to do his 5 die attack, do an energy blast one more time. So he's going to roll 5 dice. Ooh, he's got 2 crits, and he's going to be incinerated. And he's got an additional one, so he's going to have 4 going into Daredevil. Daredevil blocks with 3, and he counts blanks because of his radar senses as blocks. So he's blocking two, so he's going to be taking two more damage, and he's incinerated, but I think that knocks him out. So indeed, it does knock him down, and he drops his spider infected there, and Ultron's turn is done. And that is the end of turn four, with uh, Cabal scoring one, two for objectives, three, four, five, and they jump ahead five points. So they're going to be at 14. They are just two away from winning. And the Avengers are going to score one, two, and they only have the one, which Tony has. So they're at three. So we're looking at a 13 to 14 game, but the Cabal has jumped ahead by one point. My bad. I forget to go with Bullseye. So Bullseye is going to move up. And actually, you know what he's going to do? He's going to try and be cheeky here and try and steal this objective. So he's going to move L. So I believe he moves L. Uh, no, he does not. He moves M. Let's put him back. He moves medium. So he's going to run up. And he's not going to he's not going to be able to reach this item in time, but he'll at least be able to be ready for it for the next turn. So now we're gonna resolve all the spiderlings, so let's go ahead and go with Bullseye and see if he doesn't move, and which he does. And then we have Baron Zemo who has to do it twice. There's one, and, nothing. and now let's roll for Iron Man, who's the only one that has an infected, which he does. So now he's gonna be able to move back. All right, so Iron Man ends up here. Bullseye closer to that. And then Zemo was thrown away out there in the boonies. And now we're going to resolve bombs. So this is controlled by the Avengers. So they're going to actually do the one damage to Bullseye. And that's going to daze him for the round. A little bit of bad luck for Bullseye. Maybe, uh, I guess I forgot that that was there. And I forgot all about the bomb. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and activate with Daredevil. And Daredevil, if he's within range of this, which he should. Because he's the one that dropped it. 
he's going to go ahead and spend the power to act to get that so we're going to put that on his card and then we're going to spend his power and then he is going to book it out of there he's going to try and take control over here so he's going to move like so to there and then he's going to spend another action to move right over here putting them into there and then he's going to spend his power to interact and try and take control of that so he's got a defense of three and he gets it zemo's going to activate and he's going to kind of do the same thing he is going to run this way to there and he's going to at least get within range spend the power and he's going to try and take control of this one and he gets it with the, the hit and now that's under hydra control is that the, yep that sure does just flip it over and boom so he's got one action left what he'll do is i guess he'll try and move this way so we redid the measuring he doesn't have wall crawl or anything so he would have been able to go over this so he would have to go around so he would end up here so he is not close enough to interact with that other objective unfortunately so zemo is done iron man's going to activate and he's going to do his move he's going to move to there and then he's going to move once again just to get into range of this objective and he's going to spin a power but he's going to have one less defense because he's incinerated so he's only going to have his two dice actually he has four so he's going to be down to three so he has three dice oh no he fails it so he does not so Winter Soldier is going to activate, and he's just going to blast Iron Man from there. Range 2, he's going to go ahead and do his special ability, which is the Red Fury. He's going to spend 4 power. And it's going to be a 7 die attack. And after the attacker is off, he can push the character away S. Then immediately he can make an assault rifle attack. So here comes the 7 die attack. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he rolls a bad roll. He only got one. Iron Man's gonna have only three defense because he's incinerated. Uh, he blocks none. Mr. Red Soldier here, uh, Winter Soldier, <laughs> Red Soldier, and uh, he pushed him there, and then he's gonna do. He's gonna follow it up with his assault rifle. So it's a four die attack. And he gets two and he's already bleeding. So there's no point in that. And Tony blocks one and he's still gonna take a point of damage because the armor doesn't protect him. And actually that's gonna bring down Iron Man. He is gonna be dazed. So for his last action, he's just gonna move into position here. He's gonna spin a power. And actually, he would have gained one from the damage he gave to Iron Man. So he's just going to keep that. And he's going to take control of that infected. So all that's left is Captain America. And it uh, doesn't look good for the Avengers. So he's just going to take a little bit of vengeance here. He's going to move up to Baron Zemo. See if he can't knock him out. Get within range two. And he's going to do his... Uh, I think it's not, it's not shield bash. It's uh, shield slam. So it's going to spend, uh, he's going to spend one because of his ability. And then he's going to roll, it's a uh, six die attack. And he can throw him S. So he's going to be able to slam him against some terrain here. So let's see if he can get a hit. He needs a good roll. So that's a crit. And another one. Ooh, this is looking good. This is looking really good. And then Zemo's gonna have his defense of three. Uh, he does get a crit and a shield. So he can reroll one die because of his ability. And he gets another block. So he's gonna block three and two are gonna go through. So not quite enough to knock out Zemo, but now Zemo is gonna return the favor and he's gonna go ahead and do his counter strike. Uh, what is it? Counter-Strike. 
So it's gonna cost him two, and he's gonna roll four dice. And for every crit and every wild, Cap's gonna take a damage. Uh, he's good, nothing happens. So only Ultron is left. Ultron is just gonna move in. He's gonna move this way. Maybe he can pick on Daredevil. So he's gonna go to there. And he's just gonna start striking at Daredevil. He's gonna go ahead and do his energy blast, which is a five die attack. And if he gets any wild, he's gonna incinerate him. Uh, he did get a crit. No go, so it's only two. Daredevil's gonna block with three. And he blocks both, he's good. So now, He's just going to go ahead and, uh, you know what, he's going to spend an energy and he's going to try and convert that that uh, objective. So he needs at least two successes. I believe he's got four for defense. Yes, he does. He needs two. He will convert it. He got it. He got two. He got three. So now it is under Hydra control. And that's going to be everyone's turn. We're going to have... The scoring, we have Hydra, one, two, three. And then they have two Spiderlings, plus an additional one that Winter Soldier has. So it's gonna be six points. So they're gonna go to 20, which unfortunately this doesn't go any higher. So it's gonna be 20 and the Avengers only score one, nothing over there. Daredevil has one Spiderling, so it's only two points. So they, they go to 15. So it is indeed a victory for the Cabal. And there you have it, guys. In issue two, the Cabal take it home. They get their revenge on the Avengers. Man, this was a lot of fun. Marvel Crisis Protocol is great. Guys, if you have not checked out this game, give it a shot. It is a lot of fun. Tons of heroes you can check out on their website in case you guys uh want to check it out i will put a link in the description below so you can check those out but man i gotta tell you this is a lot of fun real easy to pick up real easy to learn and uh we're going to be bringing more of marvel crisis protocol to the channel in the future we will be posting a lot more heroes anything that we get in will be posted on our on our instagram and our facebook so make sure you guys follow us there in case you guys want to check out what we're up to on painting and whatnot we want to thank all you guys that are supporting us on patreon a huge huge shout out to you guys because you guys are the ones that are making this channel keep growing and keep going you guys are making it happen for us we thank you so much for all the help we will be bringing you a lot more exclusive content on this channel so uh just be ready for it because we're going to be posting it on here for you guys to check out and in the future we are going to be having our voting process which we will be posting uh, a selection anywhere from like three to four games so you guys can vote on what game that you guys want to see on the patreon channel itself but other than that guys that's going to be it for this one we appreciate all the love and keep rolling dice and don't forget, always paint your walls crimson. Have a good one, guys.